For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So up until this video, we've talked about the electron configuration specifically of atoms, right? And now we're going to talk about the electron configurations of ions, specifically monatomic ions, which is basically just when an atom becomes an ion by either gaining or losing electrons. And more specifically, we're going to talk about the main group monatomic ions, which are the group 1a, 2a, 3a, 4a, 5a, 6a, 7a, and 8a. We're not going to talk about all of them, but we're going to talk about the idea that kind of surrounds them all. And here are some common ions that we see a lot in general chemistry, and we should probably know what's going on with them, right, in their electron configurations. It's really useful to know. So a quick note, sodium, the alkali metal, let me write that a little bit neater, sodium, Na, readily forms the sodium plus one ion. It doesn't form a plus two ion or a minus ion or any other ion other than Na+. Why, right? Why is that? Chlorine readily forms Cl-, minus, not, not Cl+, plus or Cl2+, plus or any other ion. Why is this? To answer this, we have to think about the electron configurations of those ions and the orbital diagrams. Okay, So, sodium goes to sodium plus and loses an electron. We write that in this reaction, going from Na to Na plus and an electron. So what's the electron configuration that we start with, with sodium? Well, it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Oops, 3s1. And the orbital diagram looks like this. Everything is filled up until 3s1, which is just half filled with one electron. So if it loses an electron, that 3s1 goes away and becomes 3s0. So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And so the orbital diagram looks like this. Right, 3s is empty. What's going on with this? This Na plus now is isoelectronic with neon, which means it has the same number of electrons as neon. Why is neon important? Well, neon is a noble gas, and noble gases have completely filled orbitals, which is super, super stable. Okay, so basically it has a noble gas configuration, which is really stable. Some people might ask, well, okay, it can lose one electron to have a noble gas configuration. Why can't it just gain seven electrons and have the configuration of argon instead? Well, in that case, if it gains seven electrons, yeah, it'll have argon's configuration, but it has to gain seven negative charges, which means it would result in a a minus seven ion with more charge, which is not stable. More charge is not stable, right? So if there's if there if we're trying to make a decision between less overall charge and more overall charge, less overall charge is more stable. Okay. Now what's going on here is sodium is a metal, and metals all tend to lose electrons. They tend to lose electrons to form positively charged ions called cations. So cations is, cation is just the term for a positively charged ion. And you can kind of see that here. Everything to the left of this little ladder is a, is a metal. Um, and so they all have positive charges. Okay. So chlorine, on the other hand, chlorine has a configuration, everything up until neon, and then 3s2, 3p5, which its orbital diagram looks like this, 3s2, 3p5. So it gains an electron to become Cl minus. So that becomes 3s2, 3p6, which is isoelectronic with argon, okay? And its orbital diagram is now filled with electrons. So again, the question is, why wouldn't it lose seven electrons instead? Well, I mean, it, it just wouldn't be stable to have all that, all that charge, right? So basically the same reason as before. Now, nonmetals to the right of that little ladder on the periodic table, they gain electrons. They gain electrons to form negatively charged ions called anions. 
point is here, the main group elements are gaining or losing electrons to attain a filled outer energy level, right? Or noble gas configuration. And that is really stable. So that's kind of what's going on there. Okay. Another example for larger main group elements, it works a bit differently. For example, tin, which is SN on the periodic table over here. It can form SN2 plus or SN4 plus. So what's going on there? So SN's configuration is 5S2, 4D, 10, 5P2. Okay. And so let's think about the first example of, of giving getting the SN2 plus ion. So going from SN to SN2 plus, it loses two electrons. Which two electrons does it lose? Well, it actually loses the ones that are in the highest energy level. So the highest energy level would be the 5P. So it would become 5S2, 4D10, and then 5P0 if you really want to write it in. But it would lose those two out there in the orbital diagram. So its new configuration as that ion would look like that. Now, this isn't quite a noble gas configuration, right? So, but it's but it's stable, right? All these all these orbitals are completely filled up, but the 5P isn't filled, right? So it's not a noble gas configuration. So what this is called is a pseudo noble gas configuration, which basically is just hinting at the idea that it's stable, but it's not quite noble gas stable. Okay, but it can also form a four plus ion. So how would that work? Well, again, its configuration starts off as 5s2, 4d10, 5p2. So we can imagine losing those first two 5p, right? The next highest would be 5s, right? And in fact, loses those two, okay? So its orbital diagram will look like this. Just have all the 4d orbitals filled. And thus, its configuration will be everything up till krypton and then the 4d10. Okay. So that's what's going on there. So it's also stable, right? But not quite noble gas stable. Okay. Um, oh, I'd like to make a note, though, that um, lead is right under tin, and it, it forms the same ions for, the, for pretty much the same reason. So note that lead is in the same column and basically has the same situation going on with it. In fact, we mentioned sodium before and chlorine before. So sodium forms that plus one ion, and the, the rest of the alkali metals in the group one elements will basically do it the same way. And for chlorine, the other halogens will do something similar. So hopefully you can imagine what's going on with some of these other elements and how they form their ions, okay? just on this table. Um, now, of course, these aren't all the potential ions that could form. There's a, like so many elements can become ions. This is just a rough idea of what's going on. Some people ask, though, what about carbon? What's going on with carbon? Because it's four away from a noble gas configuration either way. It can either gain four, one, two, three, four, to become a no have a noble gas configuration, or it can lose four. One, two, three, four. Well, carbon doesn't quite gain or lose electrons. Not, not, like, not like we've seen here. Carbon shares electrons. It's more of a sharing is caring kind of <laughs> element. Carbon shares electrons when forming compounds via covalent bonding and that's something we'll talk about later but i hope that video was helpful thank you for watching if you found that video helpful don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with friends thank you and happy studying